Okay friends, uh, in our last video, we saw how we can insert the data into the cloud Firestore. So in this video, we'll see how we can fetch the data. So we can fetch the profile info, uh, the profile info uh, to our uh, dashboard screen. So in this video, we'll see how we can do that. So before that, just go to your database manager class and inside that, I just want to create a one more function over here, which fetches the users list. So to do that, let me write, get users list so just an async so what i'll do create a try and catch catch for errors Next, await, call your profile list, which is an instance of collection reference, dot get documents, dot then, so, this is a query snapshot. <coughs> it's inside this, it's inside this query snapshot, dot documents, For which for each element, so I want to get the uh, I want uh, from here I will get the list of items. That list of items I will add to a list. So here I am not creating any additional model for the users. So my code is a pretty straightforward. I just made it very simple. I am not creating any model. If you want, you can create one separate model for the users. And you can pass the data inside model. So I'm not doing that. I'm simply passing. I'm just simply passing in a list, so that I'll create a list, which is items list, and I'll create some dummy list over here. So in this list, I'll simply add my uh, currently. Uh, I'll simply add the elements. I'll simply add the elements to my list. So here, items list dot add. I'll simply write element. So I have my element inside data. I have my data inside element dot data. So this is how now we have created a uh, function to fetch the list of the users. Next, we'll see how we can fetch this data and we'll add it to our list view. Next, go do that. Just go to your dashboard screen. So go to your dashboard uh, to your dashboard view. So inside the dashboard, first thing you have to create an init over here. Just go here, create an init, create an init state. Hmm. So inside init state, just create a fetch database list. So this is a function that fetches all the information that uh, it fetches the currently created. It uh, just fetches all the users information. So this, uh, so we just want to create. So we have created a fetch database list from init state. So let's call fetch database list. So this fetch database list will call our database manager get users list function, and it will uh, return the data and that data we and then that data we are displaying in our dashboard screen. Let's go here. So inside the fetch database list, create a dynamic resultant. I'll name it as I just named it as a resultant and await. Sorry, this is also an async. I want to use an await over here. Database manager dot get users list. So I'll get all the users list. Next, what I need to do if the resultant is equals to null will print unable to retrieve the list else what you want to do is 
So let me create one more list here. I'll append that uh, the return list to this list. I'll let user, I'll name it as user profiles list is equals to empty to this users profile list i will append the currently written result act here i'm done so i'll just do it in i'll just set the state and i will add here so that it will update okay done so when when we come to the dashboard the init state will call this fetch database this fetch database fetches the user's information and it will set the state and it will add this data so now we have the data in our user profile list so we will add to our list view and that will show the real time database over here to do that just go to your uh, list just go to your list view builder so in here so here here so instead of previously we added a dummy data right so now instead of this dummy data we'll add the real time data so now we have uh, like we have a list here so previously we have past 10 here so instead now we have profile list dot length when you call this total number of records will display here so right now only one record we have so that record only it will show here next year so in the place of name i'll remove this and in that place i'll write user profile list of index of name okay next user profile list of index of gender okay next course same user profile list of index of score okay we are done with this okay okay let me refresh it once okay. i don't know why it has but the why the data is not updated i think we need to restart once so if you go and go for login you see why the data is not fetching okay i understood why the why it's not writing any data so we have did some one mistake here okay in our database manager we have created the future uh, users list uh, but we have fetched the data here but we are not returning it so we have to return that so without return we can't get the data so we should call return here and we should return this items list so now we will get the data see now if you go to your dashboard screen and let me restart now show on gmail.com okay mm, okay so okay so this is all so we have only one single record over here if you see there's only one single record so that's the reason we are getting one one file over here let's go back and create a one more one more record so one more registration i just want to create one more registration over here so put it here let's create something called pallavi pallavi at gmail.com now we should get two records so once it's successfully registered so again it is asking for the email so pallavi so it's successfully registered so before that go here and refresh refresh your page once so now you could see two records over here with two different identifiers so this is one with the name pallavi and the other one with the name john christine so again go to your authentication you can see one more uh, user over here so next to check go and click the login see you have two records so this is how you are done this is how this is done uh, this is how you are done with fetching the records in the next video we will see how we can update the data